All right, students, we're back for another semester of dance. So, I had attempted to make this video several times, and due to the feedback from the mic, I've had to start over repeatedly. Hopefully, the fourth or fifth time is a charm. What I wanted to do today is introduce you and review the XO orientation while of the dance. XO, look up the letters. It has to do with making shapes with your body, but it also has to do with the fact that one of the things that we do in dance is we are coordinating our spine and our limbs. So our spine, again, is our vertebra, and it is giving us um, the means by which we can form a vertical upright posture. But it also is important that we round our spine. One of the things we do a lot in modern contemporary dance is we round our spine. We bring things inward. We do this not only for the aesthetic appearance of dance, but we do this also to warm up and extend our bodies. The XO orientation, remember the word orientation refers to where your body is in space, the direction that you face, the shapes that you make with your body, or your relationship with your parts. And so the XO orientation is intended to give us the opportunity to bend our spine, curve our spine, extend our arms and legs, and also brace ourselves against the floor. These are things that you actually did as an infant, and that's how they discovered this kind of movement. This movement was discovered using populations of people who had special needs, and it grew into the dance world because we discovered that when we were able to use our hands and our feet and our knees and limbs and curl in and extend, that it actually helps coordinate our body and prepare our body to be more coordinated when we stand. So if we can do these movements to engage our spine when we stand up, we will then be more coordinated. We will be able to feel where our limbs are in space just a little bit better. Now, we're only going to do part of the series, and the series that we're going to do begins with making an X shape and an O shape. And so I'm going to lay on the floor at a slight angle so that you can see the way that we do this. So you need to find an open space, and you need to make sure that you keep your ribs um, closed. Don't arch your back like this. I'm sure you can see that. Okay, so we do the do's and don'ts. Okay? You're going to curve in to make a shape of an O. And when you do that, you're actually just going to curl into a ball. Now I've got a microphone on that's trying to give me some feedback, so I want you to make sure you curl into a ball. And when you lay back into your X, that you completely relax your head. You're going to go the other way, and then you're going to relax back. So you're going to curl in, and you're going to relax back into this X. When you're in your X, remember what I said. Your arms are all the way back, and your ribs are closed. So do not open your, that means that your spine is arched, that those ribs open up. Okay, and your legs are just relaxed. So you do need to develop the space of right here. You can do this anywhere on the floor. Probably don't want your shoes on. Okay? So we're going to curl in and extend back out. Now, I'm going to do it to the right, but in your video, you may notice that you go the same direction as me, which could be your left. Okay, that's, it could be your right or your left, depending on whether you like to reverse it or not. Okay? So I don't really care which way you do it, but I want you to do it two times. So I want you to curl into a ball, which is your O, and come back to the X. And into the ball, and back to your X. And then you're going to go this way, and back to your X, and this way, and back to your X. The other shape you're going to begin to make is an I. So you're going to come into your O, and straighten up to an I. Try this right now with me. Then you're going to come into your O and back to your X. Make the shape of an O. Straight up into an I. That means you've got to probably tighten your abdominal muscles. Back to your O and back to your X. Always come back to the X. So, two times you will go to each side and make an O and come back to your X. Two times. We'll go to one side into an O and make an I, and back to an O and make an X. The third time we go through it, we're actually going to come to the O, and instead of the I, we're going to extend all the way out like this. I'm making the shape of a Y. See my hands? And you have to push this foot, this bottom foot, into the floor to be able to do that. Okay? Come back to your O to come back to your X. So notice, curve the spine, extend the spine. Curve the spine, relax. Going up to the other side, you would be here, here, 
back to your X, X is to your O, back to your X, to your O, you're going to make an I, which is a straight line, back to your O and X, then you're going to go into an O, and you're going to actually extend into a Y. Now, I've gone through this a couple times, but I wanted to explain that, because when I start doing it on the floor, I want you to follow along with me. Okay, so I'm going to cue the music, and we're going to actually do this to the music. Now, there's some other stuff we're going to do after that. But okay. Okay. all right. So hopefully this is coming through. All right. I'm gonna go to my right first into a ball. Back to my X. Here I go. Talking to the back to the X again. Squeeze your glutes. Just 